Good morning. Uh, so today we are going to do a hike and a bike, which will be interesting. But I'm already covered in oil. Um, I'm not very good on my bike. <laughs> and I'm crammed in the back here. I'm literally squashed in. But not bad that. Two bikes inside of Sharon. Can you believe? Our bikes are like... $150 from Kmart, bit questionable. I normally use it for just getting to and from work and it squeaks the whole way there. So I've got to get down a mountain on it today. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. The walk we are doing is Brow Peak and you can, it's a 21 kilometer walk. So you can walk up, it's a circle. Um, so we're going to walk up and then bike down from Coronet. So we're going to go and park our bikes up the top of Coronet and then drive along to our town and hike up um the weather was supposed to be nice today but it's actually looking a bit cloudy 11 minutes later and we're off how do you feel about today uh, bike portion of the day well i'm fine my bike's, my bike's fine <laughs> <laughs> apparently his new hobby is going to be mountain biking so he's gonna sell ski stuff and invest in a mountain bike has probably ridden this bike once Yes, your helmet is in. Are you sure? Yes. Lightning strikes by my window. It's my chest right in the morning. Like a warning. Could have slept here for days. arrived at the start of the hike portion of the day and um, you have to hike up Sawpit Gully first and um, we've previously done this in one of our previous vlogs the fit the walk is how far I'm not sure so, <laughs> we've just driven along where we've got a cycle and it's actually quite far down a mountain bike trail which apparently Arthur's just told me our bikes are not made for so good job I've got a good helmet She was holding up on me. <laughs> I've had a bit of an incident with one of his Solomons. Solomon. So he's got a normal shoelace. What happened, Arthur? I left them out to dry and then the dog got them. <laughs> Bex actually fed them to the dog. Because <laughs> she's a little, you know. Like that. First hike with our new. Well, Arthur got a camel back. I had to have the crappy. Your bag is so. today. Well, I made it towards the top of Sawpit Gully. Past few dogs on the way. Always makes your day. Are you going to keep up, camera woman? <laughs> Give you a nice little tour. Or Brow Peak over there. Big hill over there. Brown Range over that way. And then the Remarkables over there. That's your tour by Arthur Attenborough. Just stop for a carrot break. We're at the top of Big hill? No. Maybe? I'm not sure. No. Anyway, we've got quite high. We've got to climb up here along this ridge. And then down the back, is it? Start to snow a bit up here, but the clouds are pretty high. So the visit is actually pretty good. Ridge views all the way up. Oh, I'm hungry. 
Honestly, she's been snacking all <laughs> journey. I'm so hungry today. And you called me fat. You called me chubby. After you called me fat. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe you chubby because of all the snacking. <laughs> <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> Those, these plants, anyone know what they're called? They are absolutely lethal. Hidden in with all the nice stuff. And they get you. There they are. Unbelievably sharp. And Bex fell on one the other week, which wasn't funny at all. Still got the scars of you? Literally everything around me was like soft bushes and I fell but behind it the spiky cactus thing. And there you are, little f I don't know you! <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to the top of Brow Peak. It's a 1,085 elevation. It's taken us like two and a half hours. It's a bit of snow up here. Three. What? Three hours. Three hours. Um, stopping for snacks. <laughs> Gotta have snack breaks. Um, yeah, you can see everything from up here. We've walked so far. You can see Lake Wakatipu over there, Lake Hayes, Aratown. There's the Sawpit Gully track, which looks so small from up here. And I think I'm going to walk all the way along the ridge now to Coronet, and then we start the ride down. and we still haven't even done half. We've been going for 4 hours and 22 minutes. We've done 8.9 kilometers and you can see Coronet chairlift which is weird without the snow. Up there. I think we've got to climb up that one and then along there. And then the cycle is about 12 kilometers. So we've still got quite a long way to go. I'm more concerned. Can you keep it down over there? Is that finished? No. I'm most concerned about the cycle. Cleared up over there. We've eaten all our food. Should have brought some more snacks. Well, I've got more snacks. What have we got? Another something for me. <laughs> what have we got? You little Brucey bog trotter. <laughs> what have you got? Share it out. I brought an OSM bar from last trip. We still had one. Are you can let me have a bite. Uh... You okay down there, son? I did. There's a little path. There he is. Come on, get on with it. I think this is the final climb of our walk. Five hours so far and counting. Still got a bike ride to go. 
Let's see how the mountain goat is. Oh, she's made her. Here she comes. Scramble, scramble. a bit of a wrong turn did a bit of extra climbing she's livid isn't she you livid silently livid oh, is that the worst part Saved her. Here she comes, sensible Sally, taking the slow route down. <laughs> oh, watch out for the rocks! <laughs> I'm ready for my cycle. Got my ski helmet on, safest helmet going. Here we are, made it halfway home. We've hiked to our bike. Six hours, <laughs> halfway. Now it's time for the biking portion. Yeah, our very cheap bikes, $200. Has stickers saying don't mountain bike, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> on the best bike to himself obviously <sighs> we've talked about this <laughs> bought two bikes next came in the garage i said you pick whichever bike you want guess which one she picked she's like oh, it's <laughs> colors. you didn't tell me the specifications of the bikes you just said they're the same Pick one. So also yeah. I picked the one with a nicer colour. You have a brain <laughs> and a phone. A brain and a phone. Anyway. anyway we're not having this yeah. argument again. No, we're not. We're, we're over this. But my bike is better. <laughs> <laughs> What have you done to the bike? No, Literally, I saw bikes with you to make it easier. <laughs> what the? F have you done to this? I don't know. I just pedaling up that hill and then something happened. Oh, that's totally completely like yeah, completely like. <laughs> <laughs> like you really, you just completely f***ed the bike. Oh, I completely f***ed it. No, you ride You were riding it? Yeah, but you rode it before down that. How can I f***? So, get walking on your bike. How can I f***ing bike from cycling uphill? I don't know what you've done to it, but it's definitely broken. It's beyond repair. <laughs> like literally beyond repair. Had a little bit of an issue. Yeah, that is the gear change. Luckily, the bike has a quality control system. So she's still riding pretty well. Not. It's gonna be a long, how long we got left? Seven kilometers left. And my bike essentially is a heavy off-road micro scooter 
Here she is, the culprit. <laughs> you okay, hon? <laughs> it's not my fault. No, it's my fault. I take responsibility for this one. Absolute snare. Yep. I'm gonna take an hour. Two hours twenty in. I'm gonna be cycling. We're walking. But we're having a great time. Aren't we? So essentially this walk bike has turned into a walk of probably in total 28 kilometers. At the moment we've been walking. 8 hours 30 and we're still not back yet What's the point? <laughs> what is the point? Yeah, had a great time <laughs> You got any regrets for choosing a grade 4 mountain bike track over the road? Any regrets? I had a great time <laughs> I found a hidden gem I didn't know and I would never have done <laughs> What are you saying? I'm saying I'm hungry. Spag bowl for tea. Yep. Boy. And now we've broken both bikes, so I've got no way to get to work. So Arthur's got to get a new bike. What a shame. And how am I going to get to work? We made it. I'm just <laughs> got some funny looks as I'm rolling into our town with no chain on my bike. Just freewheeling through. So that last section took basically three hours. <laughs> and it was. 15.7 kilometers. So in total today, it's been quite a big one. Uh, on the mum scale, just don't do it. There's no number for it. Just mums, it's not advised. Do not take a bike up there. I'll walk it down. <laughs> do not think that you're meant to mountain biking on a Kmart bike. Oh, it's pretty good. You actually, to be honest, you totally screwed me over. I was going super quick. Yeah, then you absolutely trash the bike. Then what? I want to no. stop. Then by the time I get on it, it's already in bits. I do one pedal and the whole chain <laughs> snaps. Explodes. <laughs> and then my bike that I used to get to work, the brakes are non existent. So I'm going down. All these hills saying, oh, the brakes aren't working, the brakes aren't working, and he's just dismissing it. Then we swap eventually, and he's like, oh, the brakes aren't working. I'm like, no, Sherlock. <laughs> anyway, Brow Peak probably is a eight on the mum scale. What? To get to the top and get a lift home. <laughs> yeah, why don't you split it in two walks? There's Brow Peak and then there's Bush Creek. Brow Peak, Bush Creek. It was a very cool trail, I will admit that. It's been dangerous. <laughs> and I'm starving. It's literally half six. We've been walking for so many hours, I don't even know. Anyway, I'm gonna go home now and have spaghetti bolognese. And my feet are absolutely soaking wet because every river crossing was up to my knees. So tomorrow we're doing Brewster Hut. Hopefully our shoes will have dried by then. have been asking me and sliding into my DMs about my skincare routine recently. <laughs> <laughs> I use, uh, what did I buy yesterday? Nivea. Yeah. Nivea for men. I use Nivea for men. <laughs> you can probably tell. For one day. <laughs> the real truth is, no one's been sliding into my DMs. Bex told me she wouldn't fancy me if I didn't start using some cream. <laughs> so, I had to buy some, didn't I? At times, apparently my face smells really good. I can't smell it, but anyway, if you do want to know more about my skincare routine, <laughs> slide on in there 